I think in psychology there are two major challenges. One is that the discipline is growing so quickly and that there's so much new research out there. The other challenge is that psychology is extremely interdisciplinary, so it touches on fields like economics and business, um, education, law. An online publishing model is more conducive to linking psychology content to all of the tangential areas that it's connected to. Over time, the research encyclopedia will provide a framework or bedrock for what's known and agreed in the field. This kind of stock taking needs to be done so that scholarship can move forward. We realize that research doesn't happen in a silo anymore. There's lots of conversations and dynamics between disciplines, and what we're focusing on is how to make our publishing more available, more dynamic, and more connected. Psychology students and researchers are looking for authoritative coverage because a lot of the uh, resources that are out there do not have quite the authority that we're going for. The coverage tends to be um, spotty and sometimes out of date. Psychologists are also looking for comprehensive coverage, so we want to get deep coverage of any given topic, but also uh, broad coverage. The Oxford Research Encyclopedias is one of OUP's most ambitious undertakings in decades. We have been a world-class reference publisher in print for close to 500 years. We want to continue to be a world-class reference publisher in the digital form. That means changing the way we deliver information and also adjusting the kind of reference content we publish to fit within a changed information landscape. The success of the Oxford Research Encyclopedia in Psychology really depends on community involvement, so we would love to have uh, feedback and comments and suggestions. We want people to engage with the content and with each other. We would like for it to be a hub of activity for psychology so that we can make this a really useful resource for the community.